the prosperity principles. What are they? Well, and it occurred to me that, you know, you walk into a business, you see their mission statement. You see possibly their value statement. You see uh, their vision statement. Mm -hmm. uh, you might see their core values, right? But the profitability of a company was always the elephant in the room. So we decided to do better. And, you know, you see a lot of these companies that have reputations for doing social good works. But if you really look into their statements, they're very vague. And I thought we could do better. So the prosperity principles outline the amount of profit we're going to make, and then we're going to talk about what we're going to do with the money. And we're actually going to mm -hmm. ascribe certain percentages or certain proportions, how much goes into employee bonuses. So it's easy to say, hey, our associates are first. Let's put our money where our mouth is mm -hmm. and say we're going to make 12% net income. And of that 12%, so much is going to bonuses and raises, so much is going to charity, so much is going to capital improvements, so much is going to other investments. And then back to healthy tension, I used the word pressure before, I like healthy tension. Well then, you know, if we've committed to the Columbus Zoo $200,000, well we better make our profit number because then somebody's gonna have to go. And I don't think if we miss our profit number, we should have to pay the 200. <laughs> so I'm gonna make things very formulaic and very fair. And we found that really drives alignment because it is eminently fair. And I like to be very transparent. I, I really think people should be paid like owners. And most owners are paid you know, a salary and a bonus. Well, I like quarterly bonus pools. Yeah. And put those out there, and as we hit our numbers, pay out. And, and you really see great engagement. Yeah. And, and I really think it's the next step. Uh, business can exist to do great social things. But I want to up our game a little bit and actually declare how much money are we going to donate when we hit a certain profit amount. And, and to me, the prosperity principles should be something if our customers saw them or our future employees, that, that, that we'd be very proud. And, and somebody said, wow, you know, 12% net income is more than we make. Well, you know what? We should all be abundant and, and we'll help you get there too. But don't try to carve into our 12% because that's very important to our growth and what we want to do with our people. And our social responsibility, I love that. By the way, on social responsibility, I think one of the neatest things to do is people like control, right? It, we're America, we like freedom. If people are donating to the Girl Scouts, if they're donating to their causes, one of the best things you can do is actually match them dollar for dollar for their time. And uh, that's a very congruent way to do it. Mm -hmm. And that makes them feel great. So that's actually a world-class practice. It's very easy to do. But again, we outline those in the prosperity principles.